part today, I would love to show you how to paint this beautiful ocean wave on a glass frame. So go ahead and grab yourself any frame that you love in the store. So let's get started painting this beautiful painting. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna take out this back part. So go ahead and take yours out. And now I'm gonna take out the glass very carefully. So this is gonna be your painting surface. So you're gonna see everything underneath it. So what I like to do is I like to take a piece of paper and this is just the thing that was in it. I like to put it underneath it. I also like to take some paper towels or some napkins and put it underneath both of those so it'll stay put. See how that stays put now? It doesn't slide around. So I'm gonna be painting on it lengthwise like this. Now what you need is a cotton swab, something like that. <laughs> it can be a paper towel too and your alcohol. And what you're doing with the rubbing alcohol is you're just cleaning the surface because there's a whole bunch of fingerprints on this and smudges and you want this to be a nice clean surface because it gets dusty and fuzzes on it. So you just want to wait till it's dry and the alcohol is evaporated. So the set that we're using today, it's got a whole bunch of blue colors and some green colors, and we're gonna be using these, and it's got a large white too, so that's great. And then one thing that I love about this set, because I use this a lot in my painting tutorials, is gold and silver. So metallic paints in here. So you're gonna to wanna to grab your gold, your thalo green, your cerulean blue, and your thalo blue. So then you're also gonna need some soft brushes. So all the supplies that I'm using are listed in the description. So we're learning all about brushes in my art lessons. So if you wanna get weekly art lessons and learn how to become a brush master and also learn all the skills you need to know to create the art that you want, go ahead and click right here and become a Createful Art member on Patreon. And then you can get those art lessons. I'm gonna start with the background. So what I wanna do is I wanna take my white to make this lighter, this light, light, light color. And you can also mix in this light green to make a light color. And you can also mix in <laughs> this blue, and this goes a long way, so just take a little bit and make this color. So you have a couple different options of things that you can blend together here and make a really light, pretty background. If you want some warm color in it, in this set, you could use the yellow ochre. Okay, and I just decided I wanted some of that, so add that in here. And that gives me that tan color, or sandy color. And everything on here, it doesn't matter if your colors are the same as mine, because this is just where you get to kind of feel and play and blend your colors down here. So I have all the colors on my brush because I used my brush to mix. Then I like to take some white, put it up here, maybe some other of that blue. Let's get some different colors coming around here. And if you're already worrying whether this paint is going to peel off or not. In the end, we are going to actually make it permanent and I'll show you how to do that. Because a lot of people, they paint on glass and that makes it easy to take off the paint, you know, scratch it off. So you want it to be permanent, right? So I'll teach you that in this lesson. I like to have some pops of color in there to give it some feeling. So down here, I'm gonna start bringing in the dark colors. And I think I'm gonna add some black to my palette. So having the contrast in here is what really makes this really beautiful. So I'm gonna start down here. And I've mixed my black with that blue. And I'm gonna pull in the motion of this wave. 
And this acrylic paint will dry really fast because it's on glass. That's why I don't recommend using glass palettes. <laughs> it dries so fast on them. So this wave is gonna come right like this. So over to this corner and come around like this. So that's the direction you're trying to make your brush strokes. And you want this corner right here to be really dark so you can add some more black to it. And then there's it's okay to have lighter spots in here. And then it comes crashing down on itself over here. So bring this all the way up over here. And I'm just using long brush strokes. So this is going to cap right here. So you're gonna have some shadow right under here. This isn't like my other wave lesson where it just goes in this perfect little circle. It's going to cap right here and move over the wave behind it. So we're gonna move this right here where it'll be dark underneath this wave and pull it to the side. And it'll all come together when we add white to it. And then it's crashing on itself right down here. So I'm gonna grab the lighter blue and start letting it crash on itself. Like I said, it will dry really quickly on here. And that's okay, because we do want to do some layering. And then I'm going to pull this up just a little bit for composition. It's going up like this into this corner. right here. So I'm just grabbing that straight blue, holding it in here. And then I'm going to grab this green, lighter green. See these brush strokes right here? If you add another layer on them, like this, they just kind of disappear. Push this up a little bit here. So you can see, you can just get rid of those and make it look a lot smoother and nicer. When I add thicker paint, like in that area, see how much darker that makes that? And it makes it thicker too. So see how much darker I can make that? So I'm gonna go through and kind of darken this area. See how that contrast is just like powerful, it's so powerful, and bring that up. And it just takes a couple of layers to do that. Spot. Oh well. So now I'm 
going to start pulling down a little bit in that same motion, but with dark right here. You'll see why in a minute. And then just curve this area around with some dark. Now I'm going to add the white. So I've got white on my brush here, and I'm going to follow this edge with white. And I'm just kind of blotching it. You're not going to see very much against this background because it's such a light background. But I'm going to dab up there into it. And then down here, so I'm going to pull some little triangular pieces down into there and curve around. So like I said, this is the peak, it's peaking right here, and then it's going to pull down right in here, and this is the side of your wave. So this up here will have a little bit of stuff coming off, it's a little bit of white, but not a lot. So it's mostly just the misty stuff and the foam up in here, which we'll get to, but it's a lot through here. So just loosen your brush stroke, so I'm at the end of my brush, for this part. And then down here, I'm going to do like a swirly motion, and I'm going to pull it down over some of that dark. See that? See how it all kinds, it came together, <laughs> it's coming together. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of blending. So you're going to have a different look than mine. Don't worry about that. Just because everybody is going to have a different painting and that's okay. So if you don't need to do this, then don't worry about it. But I'm going to do some blending in here. I'm going to pull that up. And I just have water on my brush and this color is still wet a little bit. So if your color is not wet, then you can just go grab this color. And I'm going to come in here and do a little bit of dark around that area. And just add some more contrast in there. Add a little bit of that green through here because the light is still coming through here. And it's the light from the sky showing through this wave. This is a very fantastic wave. And I'm going to add in a little bit more of the dark area right in here. And you may not need this or you may need it. Now this part. So this is all about layering. We got to get in these layers and add some of that dark coming through here, coming down. Just because it needs it, and also some of this blue needs to be in there. So I'm going to add that over here. So I add some of that green. darker color right underneath this coming up. And you can look back and see what it needs. Isn't that fantastic? and so 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 easy. For splatters you can use a toothbrush or a really bristly brush like this. Again we're learning all about paint brushes and our tools so you can get those art lessons right over here. I'm just going to use this one this time and I'm going 
dipping into my white and then I'll pull back and splatter. Now the further away you go with your splatter, the um, further your splatters will be between them. And then the closer it's going to be more concentrated in that area. You can also do drips if you would like to. This is just a fun playful painting. There's no wrong or right way. You just have fun with it, right? That's what painting is all about, is having fun. And I might even use my tool to have some more controlled splatters in here. So I can put in splatters like inside the wave. And that's, that's really fun. You're not just going to learn how to paint one type of way with me. <laughs> you probably already discovered that. And I want to just expand your options as an artist. So that's why I give those art lessons. So see how fun this is. And then like having some unique shapes in here is kind of fun. Like pulling, you know, maybe a circle around that. Coming a little bit down over. It just totally depends on you and your desires. That's what's so fun. Now if you want to go more realistic, you could add more of the foam, but I'm not. Just doing the impressionism stuff here. So see how that looks like it's white, but it's actually this light green. So that's why you don't want to do white, is because it's too much. And you can grab your brush and put in some sea foam. See how strong that is? So you can always come in here, be like, okay, that's a little strong. Let's darken it up a little. If you don't like this part of it, then don't do it. This is really also fun for getting in some dots down below. If you like to work detailed, then these pens are great. If you like to be loose, don't worry about getting them. So when you're thinking about your personal touches, you're just gonna go with the flow and have fun. So if anything, like look back and if anything's bugging you, then that's when you change it. And I can't tell you what's gonna bug you and what's not because your painting's different than mine. So just look back at it and have fun discovering what yours is going to look like. So there's one thing to note here. When your paint is in the sticky stage, that means if you touch it, it'll come off. So you do not want to be putting brush strokes on this when it's in that sticky stage because you'll struggle with the paint coming off as you're trying to paint. When it's dry, you can go over it. That's fine. When it's wet, you can blend with it. That's fine. But if it's in that sticky stage and you find that your paint's coming off, then you want to leave it alone. Also, don't worry, you can always go over it, adding a lot more paint to that area, and then let it dry and then blend again over the top. I'm going to add in some metallic gold here. This is totally optional. This is one of my personal touches. It just gives it that metallic touch that's so beautiful. So now it's time to cure this painting, make it permanent so it doesn't scratch off. So what you're going to do is you're going to place it in your cool oven. All right, mine's in my RV oven right now. And since my RV oven is kind of finicky, I'm not going to show you this part, but you put it on at 350 degrees. And in my RV oven, I have to put it up a little higher. So I didn't want to show you that and confuse you. Cook it for... 30, <laughs> 30 minutes. And then you're going to want to let it cool in your oven. So turn your oven off and let it cool all the way in your oven. Don't touch it. 
until it's cool or that glass can break. So while that cooks in my oven, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my space here. Make sure all my brushes are nice and clean. If you wanna learn how to clean your brushes and take care of your brushes, there's art lessons for that as well. And I actually give an art lesson on how to paint on different surfaces such as glass. So get all those art lessons. I tell you, there's way more you can learn from me. When your painting has cooled, you'll notice that you no longer can just take off any paint or scratch it. This is really durable now. So then you'll just want to put your painting on the piece of paper like that. And that makes sure that that background is nice and solid. And then you can put it back in the frame. Isn't that beautiful? And you can see with the light shining this way, I wanted to show you that you can see the metallic. But see, it's fun to just get the glass frames and just paint right on the glass because you don't actually have to pay for a canvas as well. Thank you so much for painting with me. I hope you had a lot of fun. Let me know with a thumbs up and in the comments you can leave me any questions you have or let me know if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye!